What's up, sports fans? This is a 2022 Topps Baseball Series 1 Mega Box. You can grab them at Target.com and in stores at Target as well. Pretty nice box. Uh, I think it's a good alternative to a hobby box. Basically, a lot of cards without the silver pack or a guarantee for an auto or a relic. You get 256 total cards, 18 cards a pack, 16 packs per box. Here are the odds there that you can see on the back. Never tell me the odds. Notice that cut signature there it says one in 784,504. I gotta believe that like there's that many mega boxes like floating around out there, like maybe 785,000 of them. And there's one, there's one cut signature in all of them. That's my guess. They're on to me. So these mega boxes run at $50 most places you find them. I personally like them better than the blaster boxes because I don't like that relic that they include with those blasters. I think it's pretty useless. And usually uh, you get chances of some sweet parallels, numbered cards out of here. So of course, I'll mention it uh, like everyone does, looking for that parallel Wander Franco. Wouldn't it just be crazy lucky if we could pull one of those out of this mega box? $50 basically everywhere that you can find them. And at 50 bucks, there we go, a six four stars in certain Christian Yelich. It's about half the cost of a hobby box, pretty much. Uh, I personally think ripping the hobby box with that silver pack uh, for about 100 maybe 110 bucks, depending on where it is, it's a pretty good buy. So either way, I think uh, if you're going to get Topps Series 1 for 2022, the best versions to buy are either the hobby version or... This mega box right here. You could go crazy by the jumbo hobby version. I believe that comes with two silver packs and increase your odds, but it is pretty spendy. A Buster Posey home run challenge. Pick the game, call your shot to win. I, I believe the problem with this is Buster Posey is no longer playing. Lazy. Got a Fernando Tatis Jr. stars of MLB on the back. Really odd, guys. Really odd. Buster Posey retired, so you can't really call the game that he's going to hit a home run. I mean, I, I could call that he's never going to hit a home run again in Major League Baseball. Do I get something for that if I could send that card in and predict that correctly? Good Lord, Tops. Come on, man. Jose Barrios, Luke Williams rookie card, Austin Hedges, Yadier Molina, Jake Rogers. And let me know in the comment below, guys, at the price point, Tyler Glasgow, McGill rookie, $50 or so. Do you think that this is worth it? So many packs so many cards as well as a chance that there are red border parallels i think that are specific to these mega boxes so pretty sweet another tatis jr behind that ricky henderson 25th anniversary throwback pretty sweet to see a uh, nice chance at a unique parallel i believe that like at a hangers or some other retail packs you get like a blue border parallel so going parallel hunting guys going short print hunting as well looking to see if we can find anything out of here and also just kind of wanted to show you this here on Chelsea's card polls, let you know exactly what you're getting into for $50. And like I always say, ooh, nice Cal Raleigh, guys. That's going in the PC. Huge Mariners fan here. Get out the right bread and the mustard this time, Grandma. It is a grand salami. Luis Robert behind him. And like I always say, guys, yeah, if I do miss anything, please let me know uh, with a comment. Christian Yelich stars of MLB Tops Chrome and then a Mike Trout. How about a numbered parallel? Like a Mike Trout or a Wander Franco. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah, a lot of cards out of here, guys. Trevor Rogers, be prepared. Uh, you're basically going to get close to completing a set uh, with one of these boxes. Kyle Muller, rookie. Chapman, Pache, now a member of the Oakland A's. Curtis Terry, Rangers. Duval Tatis Jr., Alonzo. A couple of combo cards right there, guys. Yeah, these are some fun ones. I actually really like these. Uh, a lot more than last year's 2021, uh, up or excuse me, just flagship series cards, Mike Yastrzemski. And there we go. How about that guys? I don't think we're seeing a parallel, but that's one that we want to see a Wander Franco stars of MLB insert rookie card. We'll take it. Whip, whip, whip. A lot of packs to open a lot of cards coming out of these boxes. But, uh, once again, price point, definitely a fun rip. And I think uh, for 50 bucks, it's a justifiable cost for all of these cards. That's a cool MLB name right there, guys. Zach Pop. Zach Pop. <laughs> That's a sweet rookie card. Sweet player name there. Yankees team cards. Team cards are trash. Poking Gilbert. 
future stars there. So we get a bunch of them in that pack right there. Mike Zanino, former Mariner, Hernandez, Wainwright. We got a future stars of Alex Kirloff, and that is a hollow, guys. Or excuse me, yeah, that's just a basically one of their uh, parallels, the rainbow parallel. Rock the rainbow, taste the rainbow. John Manaya, no longer in Oakland. A Lucas Gill, Weaver Cole, Diamondbacks team cards. We're getting more team cards in there. Then we got a nice Jared Kelnick future stars. Gonna set that aside. Slam Diego returns. Done. No longer a member of the Mariners either. Getting traded along with Jake Fraley for Eugenio Suarez and Jesse Winker. What do we got here? It is a throwback Dontrell Willis. That's actually a pretty sweet looking card. And then Jazz Chisholm Jr. The D train, baby. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, Dontrell Willis, go back and watch. Some of his games, especially early in his career, he was the dominant pitcher in Major League Baseball for a while. The D-Train, man, whew, hard to hit off of him early on. And Ambergi, if I'm saying that correctly, Max Freed. Got Bobby Dahlbeck, Narvaez, Jake Berger, Iglesias Rogers. There's one of those blue borders, guys. Uh, blue border, Martin Perez there, not numbered. And Freddie Freeman. Next. Well, that only got us halfway through this mega box. So many packs. Still a few more to go. John Gray, Andrew Miller, Rizzo, Tatis Jr. Cards are pretty low right now for Tatis Jr. I think he's a buy if you want to pick him up. I saw Tampa Bay. was hoping that was a wander, but that is a Rosarena. Rookie Cup card, Mike Miner, John Lester, Devin Williams, Vital Bruhan rookie. That's somebody that we're looking for, guys. And then another, Luis Robert. We'll get him sleeved up. He is definitely on the rookie watch list for Series 1 of 2022. Later on, going to see Julio Rodriguez, uh, Series 2, possibly. I, I would I would definitely say guaranteed an update series, but that is going to be insane. The rush after his card going to be nuts. People going to be running after that. Like something else. Gavin Sheets, rookie card. Mike Trout. Donaldson, Wong, and let's see. Ooh, we got, uh, I believe this is going to be, since it's turned over, guys, a Jose Altuve, probably a short print. That is nice. That is an image variation short print. He's a phony. Lousy cheetah. Bo Bichette, 2021 greatest hits. And then another Bo Bichette, stars of MLB insert on the back. So this Pretty good representation of what you can get out of these mega boxes. This is usually a longer rip, but uh, I think it's a great rip for anybody that's looking for Wander Franco or anybody that's just getting into the hobby, really not sure what to buy. I think it's a great place to start, especially for baseball card collectors. Flagship Series 1 mega boxes or hobby boxes. Nate Pearson, looks like we got some more team cards there. Freddie Freeman, now member of the Dodges. Reitz, Travis Darno, Odor, Luis Robert. We have seen so many of his. This time it's a Chrome Luis Robert stars of MLB. And then a Nolan Arenado. Can't stop pulling Luis Robert. Chicago White Sox uh, just beat my Mariners yesterday. And the day of shooting this video. Still in Chicago facing off against Chai City Pulse, Chicago White Sox. Again, we got Josiah Gray, rookie, Arietta, Adam Frazier, Liam Hendricks, Tommy Pham, Francisco Lindor on the 35th anniversary throwback. Sorry, I did say 25th anniversary earlier. I meant 35th. Just jumbling the numbers there. All right, four packs to go. Appreciate everybody. If you do like rips like this, make sure you smash the like button and let me know what you want to see ripped on the channel i would be happy to take suggestions leave a comment letting me know exactly what you want to see ripped and if you haven't subscribed would really appreciate that if you're super interested you could hit the notification bell Ooh, what is this guys do we have like a it's turned over so it's got to be a short print right an acuna short print what is this a home field advantage is this some kind of like crazy insert like a downtown or something like that that's a pretty sweet looking card Ronald Acuna Jr., home field advantage. Look at the number. Look at the orange, of course, because of Georgia. The grill, look at that. I love it! So this is a short print, a sweet insert, you guys. Home field advantage. You don't find these very often. Every 228 packs in the Acuna, actually a pretty sought-after card. And a nice follow-up, a Gavin Sheets foil rookie, and then another Acuna on the back. Oh, would love this. 
to be a Wander Franco foil, but you know what? I guess I can't get too, too greedy because that that's that's a nice card. That's got to be at least a $60 card. Ooh, making this rip worth it. Jose Ramirez, we got a Mitch Hanniger, Rymel Tapia, some more team cards and inserts in the middle. Get past that boring stuff, you guys. Jacob deGrom, Wolfen Awitz. Ronald Acuna. Oof, this rip really just got interesting. Riley Adams, another foil. Uh, no, that's just the insert, excuse me, Austin Riley. How about that? We've pulled two Wander Francos. This actually is a favorite of mine, guys. The Wander Franco, welcome to the show insert. This is a favorite of mine because I love MLB The Show, uh, the game for PS5 and Xbox. That's a nice card. And then a Clayton Kershaw on the back. My man is loaded and loaded. One of my best tops flagship rips in quite a while, I must say. I must say. I mean, obviously, it bodes well for the endorsement of this mega box. But even if I didn't pull all these hits, I'm telling you, this is a really fun box to rip with a lot of different packs. So it gives you a lot of chances to pull some stuff. Washington Nationals team cards. Kyle Higashioka making the Yankees forget about Gary Sanchez. Segura, Jake Myers got a city of walk-off love, and then a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. final pack. Maybe we can get last pack magic here. Smash the like button for me if you haven't. It does help me feed a couple of kitties named Pikachu and Eevee. Appreciate everybody watching. This has been a really, really fun rip. Make sure you click on the video popping up on the screen here at the end of the video. You can see me ripping some more baseball cards if you want to stick around. Nice wisdom. Almost finished off. And then we'll send you to another video here on Schultz's card pulls. Nice. Brandon Marsh, 35th anniversary throwback rookie card. And Cabrian Hayes. Thanks for coming. Click on the video popping up on the screen. You can watch me ripping a Topps Update Series Chrome Sapphire box here from 2021. Hunting for a Jared Kelnick rookie. I didn't find one of those, but I pulled something pretty sweet.